Good evening, beauty babes. How are we doing? Jess here back again. If you caught my video yesterday, I don't know. It's been a big week. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Thursday evening. We are powering through. How has everyone found it so far? Hoping that you have been enjoying your time with us, that you've been learning some new things, that um, you've been enjoying the new format. Uh, so the new format is that we've been breaking everything down kind of by step by step rather than throwing everything at you all at once. So the first few days we covered skincare. You can go back and watch those videos if you need to. Uh, the next day we covered doing your base. And now we are starting to talk about... Hey girls, how are we doing? And now we are starting to talk about, the lovely Nadia went live today and talked about uh, using Shadow Sense, which is one of my favorite products. Actually, it might be my favorite product. Uh, Shadow Sense um, for so many different things. She used it for blush, for contour, for, well, she obviously used it on her eyes and um, for highlight as well. There's so many different ways you can use products. We'll be talking more about Shadow Sense tomorrow when we talk about eyes. But tonight, I wanted to keep talking a little bit about um, different ways you can highlight um, your features and um, add warmth and depth to your face. Oh, Abby, it's okay if you fall asleep. I understand, darling, you are growing a mini human. I'm so excited to meet. I saw your um your pictures that you popped up. I'm pretty excited. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in. How good is it? My voice is nearly back. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, so for um, tonight's video, I'm introducing you to a secret weapon. This is my favorite sparkly secret weapon. Uh, and I don't know if you can tell, this is literally just the outfit I had on today. So it's not like I got dressed up for the occasion. I'm a bit of a fan of sparkle. <laughs> so I still have um, all of the stuff I wore today on my face. So I have tinted moisturizer on, got a little bit of concealer covering up um, those spots we talked about that I got going on yesterday. Uh, what have I got on my eyes? Let me just look in the mirror. So I've got rustic brown, again, a shadow sense color. I've got rustic brown shadow sense in my eyebrows. On my eyelids at the moment, I have Mocha Java Shadow Sense, and um, then I've just got the black brown pencil. We will talk more about those products tomorrow when we focus on eyes. But I just want to let you know that um, I've, what I've got on so far. Uh, so I've got Mocha Java on my eyes. I've got the black brown pencil um, buffed out, smoked out to kind of give me a little bit of a, a little bit of a sultry look, but still, you know. Fairly subdued if you know me well. <laughs> no problem, darling. You could have a good, um, good time at that concert. Fingers crossed your boy goes well. All right, all right. Now I'm going to stop saying hello to everyone just because I get super distracted. I'll leave the comments on so if I see you have question, if you have questions, you can keep asking me. But I'm going to try and um, soldier through. And then before I move on to my secret weapon, I do want to stop and say what I've got on my lips because... This was a happy accident today, and I love it. I love it. What do you guys think, by the way? I love it. Okay, this has been on all day. This is so essentially what I, the reason I'm telling you all this is that everything's been on all day. So this morning I pulled out um, Violet Vault Lip Sense, which is this really purple one here. I was like, you know what? That matches my jumper. And then I put one layer on and I went, it might actually match my jumper too much. And so I decided to pop um, Golden Orchid, which is this one here, over the top. So that created this beautiful, moody, purple lilac. And I focused the Violet Vault, so the purple, I focused that heavier on the outer sides of my lips. And then the Golden Orchid more on the inner. So it's kind of got a really subtle ombre. And then I topped that with Sweet Pea Gloss. Let me show you that one on my hand as well. So that just added another layer of sparkle and mauve fabulousness. That's that one there. But we're not here to talk about lips today. I just wanted to let you know because I love my lips today. So <laughs> I'm just going to wipe that gloss off. Keep my cloth next to me on the back of my chair. All right, let's get into tonight's video. So again, we are talking about all the ways you can highlight features and add some um, fun pop. One of the funnest ways you can is with a highlighter. 
So now it's time for me to introduce you to my secret weapon. This one is called Pearlizer. It is essentially the same product as our foundations. So it is a foundation, which means it's got the anti-aging in it. It's got the um, sun protection in it. It's got those um, hydrating properties in it. All of that fun stuff. But can you see, let me get a foundation shade out to um, give you something uh, to compare to. It is a beautiful, shimmery, shimmery product. Now I have had this one since I started two and a half years ago and I have used this for so many different things and in so many different experiments and um for like I've, I've used this in costume so I've had it like all over my face and I am still halfway done because this beautiful thing here let me show you on my hand a dot can you see that dot there gives you so much sparkle there is so much product there just in that dot can you am i catching that on the on camera i really hope that's showing up on camera so this one is going to be yes it makes an amazing highlighter let's put it on as a highlighter for starters i'll just keep putting it on the back of my hand there as a as a little palette I'm going to add a little bit as highlight here. Look at that. So I'm just highlighting my cheekbones with that one. And yes, it is beautiful for this. Look at that. A little bit on the tip of the nose. A little bit on the cupid's bow. All of those spots you would use uh, your highlighter. You can also use it to highlight and carve out the, your brow bone like so. But I'm not even... We're not even at the fun stuff yet. We're not even using this product to its maximum capacity, even though this is its an original capacity and it's stunning. Let me just add it here above the eyebrow. I'm just going to do one side of my face too, so you can kind of see the difference. So I'm starting to get some beautiful glow here. You can pat it in if you want something a little bit more subtle. But see how much that's lifted the eyebrow on this side? Like it almost makes it look like I'm going, I actually can't move my eyebrows independently. I don't know why I tried. <laughs> but there are some beautiful ways that you can use this. So this is called Pearlizer, my friends. And it is a liquid highlight. Uh, you can add it to your foundation. I've just grabbed a little bit more because I want to show you my other favorite way to use it on that inner corner there look at that difference look at that difference and because it's um shimmery and iridescent and beautiful and warm it just opens up my eyes so much then you can buff that out you can even use it um brushed out across your lids as like a sparkly all over like so but I haven't even got to my favorite use yet. This is, this is, a, this is again, I, I can't think of another word for it except a sparkly secret weapon because you know what I didn't wear today and I didn't wear it just for you guys. I didn't put blush on uh, and I love me some blush. So the fact that I didn't put blush on so that I could jump on my video tonight for you guys shows my dedication uh, to helping you um, learn how to get the best out of your products because I am going to show you again. I've, so I've still got that palette from yesterday. I like to use them up because uh, before I get a fresh one. Uh, so I've got my palette from yesterday. I have my sparkly secret weapon pearlizer. And then I'm going to take a lip sense color. I might even take, let's take the violet vault. So that purple, that hectic, hectic purple. And we're going to... Make a custom blush on my palette using lip scents. Lip scents and palizer. Palizer can be mixed with any of our products, any of our cream products, to create your own custom highlighter sparkly blush. So it'll always have that beautiful sparkly iridescence that I showed you on the back of my hand. 
but by adding some, so I'm just swiping, can you see here, I've got a dot of that pearlizer, swiping some of that lip scents down here. And so you can use lip scents as blush, but it's difficult to move around if you use it by itself because it dries so fast. So you can end up with too much pigment. By adding a cream product to that liquid, let's stir them together with the back of a brush. You tone down those heavy pigments slightly. Hoping you can see, obviously we're using a purple paper, purple piece of paper, so uh, a purple palette, purple palette people eater. <laughs> So I am using um, a purple palette, so it's not helping. But let me grab, grab some with my finger and see if we can get that to show up on my hand. Look at that. So now I've created this beautiful shimmery mauve blush, which means that you can custom create any blush for any lip color. You can have a, um, a complementary blush or bronzer if you use a brownie toned one so I'm just pick that product up with um, my blush brush and then I'm going to start patting it down and because the pearlizer has a pinky tone to it that pinky gold undertone it doesn't it takes out some of that dark purple tone look at that look at that I'm so sparkly and blushed up and if you ever feel like you've done too much you can grab your foundation brush and go across the top of it to tone it down look at the difference and it's actually I think it's hard to tell on camera but they complement each other so well because I used one of the lip sense colors that I wore today with the pearlizer to make a blush that is 100% complementary. Why don't we make a bronzer? So I'm going to grab some Coco Lip Sense. So that's this beautiful chocolatey brown one here. I'm going to put some swipes of that. Let me show you how to do some swipes, by the way. So I'm grabbing my Lip Sense and it is a liquid rather than a cream. I'm just rolling that brush, uh, the applicator on the plate to um, deposit some product there. How'd you use that when you did the unicorn party makeup? I quite, I could have actually, um, Rachel, I might have. I'm not, I, I cannot remember. I must admit, I do love this uh, technique, so I have used it a couple of times. And now I'm, so I'm putting a dot of that pearlizer next to my cocoa and then we'll grab a brush to mix those two together again and I'm using the back of the brush because I don't want to fill the brush full of that product now I have created a custom shimmery bronzer let me find a brush to apply this with so bronzer is usually applied wherever you would have been sun kissed so I'm picking just a little bit up and I'll just dot some on the back of my hand so I don't have too much. And the forehead is a spot where you would have um, got some sun so it's warming up my forehead. Softly, softly warming it up. I didn't create too much so that might be um, the most that I can use that one. But look at that. I'm hoping you can see so that beautiful blush that I created with the pearlizer the bronzer that I created and then the difference in my inner corner where I put the pearlizer on the inner corner versus over on this side where I haven't so we warmed up the forehead on this side versus over here we add a blush on this side versus over here where we didn't I probably covered up the highlight that I did there so let me add some more back in where did I put my highlighter brush? There it is. And this is my darling, darling secret weapon. And one of these will last you so long. Like I said, two and a half years I've been using this one and I use it for costuming. I use it for so many different things. Pearlizer will blow your mind. If you have a couple of lip sense colors, you should 100% have pearlizer 
See how targeted I can make it? How strong I can make that highlight? Or I can soften it out. And the other fun thing that you can do is you mix it directly with your foundation to make your foundation like a dewy foundation. Bronze plus uh, bronze blush scents. Yes, I could. Or deep, deep concealer. Oh, let me grab deep concealer because I know I have that out somewhere. There it is. Deep concealer. Let's make another one. Let's do it. Deep concealer. Done a dot of the deep concealer just here. See that one? And then we are adding another dot of my pearlizer. And for a dewy finish, you could add that to your foundation as well and just mix the two together and then apply them like that. So I've done a dot and a dot like so. Mixing together to create another beautiful bronzer. So it's so bronzer is slightly different from contouring in that it has um, shimmer to it. So it's not going to send the um, feature as you would have seen in, um, in Nadia's video today if you watched that one. Uh, it's not going to send that feature sort of way back into the shadows because it's got, it's got that shimmer in it. So you're, um, you're warming it up. This is like sun-kissed. Oh, this is super sun-kissed. For someone as pale as me, this is very sun-kissed. <laughs> but this would make a beautiful, you could add this to um, a body moisturizer as well for an all-over glow. Now I'm 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 kind of I'm tanning with my um <laughs> with my deep and pearlizer combo. I'm going to look like I um like I actually went to the beach sometime recently, adding some warmth in to my face. I'm just kind of taking my foundation brush to <laughs> soften down the edges. But did you guys see how much that warmed me up? Amazing. Let's add a little bit on top of that blush as well. Because with cheeks like these, you would 100% have um, been hit by the sun with these cheekbones. <laughs> they would have been hit by the sun as well. Oh my God, I am turning a certain color now. But this is a great way to fake a tan if you don't have, um, if you don't go, if you don't get any sun like me. <laughs> How's that for some warmth? What do we think? What do we think? Okay, so is there any questions about pearlizer, about highlighter, about contour? Um, I did see that we had uh, one question about how to work out face shape. So I replied to that question. Um, so sometimes it can be tricky to work out wh which face shape you are. And that, so that's, you know, because we don't have like very defined features, you know, um, uh, very defined shapes sometimes. But uh, one thing I found out recently is if so, if you took a photo, so say say this is my camera. If I take a photo dead on, has to be dead on. You have to be facing your camera. You have to pull your hair all the way back out of your face so that you've got your whole face exposed. And then you take a photo. And once you've taken that photo, you then take um, a drawing tool in your kind of um, photo editing software. And you draw a line around the perimeter of your face. That will help to guide you because you will see that. You'll see the shape that your face becomes um, when, when you're drawing around the edge. But when you're kind of ignoring where your cheeks are, ignoring where your eyes are, ignoring where your lips are. And you're just tracing the perimeter of your face. That can be one way to work out what face shape you are. I also added another link um, in, so this is in Nadia's post. She's put up an amazing um, array of graphics that will help you to work out your face shape. But if you need a little bit more help, there's also a handy dandy tutorial that I've linked to. Now, what's everyone saying? Laura said you can mix pearlizer and foundation to glow. My earrings are fab, aren't they? They were a gift from one of my uplines, actually. Really lovely. I love them. 
I may or may not have been hunting for some to uh, gift down the line. I mixed blonde, blonde bl I keep saying some blonde, bronze blush scents, Laura says, and our body lotion to give my legs an instant fake tan. It looks so good. Yes. Nadia says, looks amazing. Thank you, darling. Um, Beth says, super helpful. More than happy, Shuma, my darling. Uh, Jess says, love your lip color. Thank you. If you tuned in late, my lip color is uh, one layer of violet vault with much more focus on the outer sides of my outer edges of my lip. And then um, I went over the top of that with two layers of golden orchid, which is this one here, um, and focused that on the inner as well. So it kind of do, does a subtle ombre. And then I topped that with a sweet pea gloss. Put it on at like lunchtime today. It's eight o'clock now. I may have eaten a burger and it's still on. Love it. Kristen says, I think using the concealer really warmed your face up and gave you a very um, day look, whereas beforehand it was like afternoon, evening. Oh, thank you yeah that bronzer um that we created so we use the deep concealer for that one and the pearlizer and it really has just totally warmed up my face um and i love i love playing around with mixing products and if you have pearlizer and a couple of lip sense colors or a couple of shadow sense colors or a couple of both then the um the sky's the sparkly limit for what you can mix up because pearlizer is just going to make everything super blendable and super sparkly and it's um so much fun laura says what's on your lips i hope you just caught that i just um mentioned it loving that combo me too it was like a happy happy accident it's kind of like a moodier version of mauve ice which is another one of our sort of frosty lilac colors but i love 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 it okay I think that's us done for now. Uh, if you don't, if you if you get pearlizer for one thing alone, can I draw your attention again to my inner corners of my eyes? So I um I highlighted the inner corner of my eyes with our matte um, shadow scents, uh, with one of our matte colors. Uh, so I already have some lightning on this side, but this sparkle here with just a dot of that pearlizer is next level open eyes, right? It just kind of gives my eyes like a ping. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay, that is me done for tonight. Remember that there is a question and answer post. So if you're ever unsure or you want to know more about a product or about a technique or about anything at all to do with beauty, boot camp, fun stuff, or you can ask us existential questions. I just can't guarantee we'll be able to give valid answers and, and useful and informative answers. <laughs> um, then jump on the Q, the Q and A post. I've pinned that to the top, so you should be able to find that fairly easily. Um, remember, there are albums. So if you are on your phone, you scroll all the way up to the top of the group, and then you scroll along the different options. Uh, there's like discussion, announcements, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's photos and then there's albums. So you look at the album section. There you'll find a, um, an album with all of our catalog, an album with um, hints and tips, albums broken down by product type. There are so many different fun things in there. So make sure you explore the albums. Uh, there's also an album with all of the bundle deals available. Remember there's some special bundle deals put together for the duration of this party. Um, and then tomorrow we'll be tackling all things eyes. I think the lovely Laura will be going live tomorrow morning, afternoon, early afternoon um, with an eye look. And then I'll be jumping on later tomorrow with another eye look. I'll probably be showing you some um, fun ways to kind of go crazy with other products. I love using products for more than their intended use uh, when it comes to um Senegence products i think that it's so fun to be able to really use them versatile um use them in the most versatile manner as possible does that make sense uh laura says my blush today was pearlizer mixed with golden orchid i have golden orchid on my lips as well so so do i we like lip sense twinsies except that i added the um the violet vault underneath so it's just turned it all moody golden orchid stunning um everything looks good. oh thank you thank you I feel like that was all I wanted to... Actually, there was probably something else, but, you know, I've forgotten. If you don't have a sparkly secret weapon yet, 
have a think about getting one. It's anti-aging. It comes in the airless pump. It's got sun protection in it, and it'll last you forever. If, if this one has lasted me two and a half years, then, uh, you know, and I've I've smashed it. You saw how much I used just today for um for our demos, but I've used this for, for costumes and all sorts of things. So you will, this will last you a really long time. And the great thing is, is um, with an airless pump like this, there's no bacteria getting in the tube. So, you know, you do get a long wear out of it, a long, a long time out of your product. <laughs> okay. I'm going to wrap up. It's lovely as always to see you. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. And I love tuning in for Laura's videos. Um, she does in some incredible eye makeup. So I'm really looking forward to it. You're in for a treat okay um i think i'm just excited to have my voice back again i haven't been able to talk for like half a week and that's been real difficult for me <laughs> all right i will talk to you soon have a wonderful night my friends and again any questions you let us know see you later